Creating new items is easy in every STEM. Let's get right to it. Every STEM offers you flexibility to enter more than just flowers into a recipe. You can add rental items, hard goods, supplies, and floral mechanics. We refer to all recipe ingredients as items. Items can be flowers, hard goods, or anything else you use to build a design and want to include in a recipe. In this tutorial, we'll create a new flower and we will create a new compote so you can see how flowers and hard goods can both be created in your account. The first step is to search for your item to confirm you haven't already created it. Click the Add Item button, type in the name, and you'll see we are looking for a gardenia. It's not in the system yet. So we'll need to create the flower in our EveryStem account. Click on the Create Item button and the modal will open. This is where you will fill in the information about your item to enable EveryStem to calculate your costs and quantities. Let's review the information you'll enter to create a new item in EveryStem. First, item name. Enter the name of the flower or the item here. For flowers, we recommend typing in the flower variety first and then the color. For example, if you want to create a Tibet rose, type rose, comma, Tibet, comma, white. Or if you want to enter a white gardenia, first enter the flower type, gardenia, comma, color white. You'll be able to search for a flower later. By naming your flowers in a format like this, they'll automatically be arranged in an organized list inside your library. You can easily edit the name and rest of the details of the flower later on, so don't sweat it. Next, vendor name. Enter the name of your vendor here. This is the name of the grower or wholesaler you plan to buy this flower or item from. This information is key for separating your orders by vendor when you export. For non-flower items that you keep in inventory, like an overhead vase that you rent out, you can enter the location where you store the item, like supplies or storage unit. That way, when you create the vendor export, you'll have a list of all the inventory items you need to gather for your event and the locations you need to gather them from. Next, markup. We're going to skip price for a moment and discuss the markup option first. Every stem allows you to enter a primary and secondary markup for each event. Some designers mark up their flowers by one amount, like three or four times. We'll call this the primary markup. And then they mark up their hard goods or greenery by another amount, like two or two and a half times. We'll call that the secondary markup. You select which markup option to assign to an item when you create it. If you only use one markup for all your flowers and items, we'll use the primary for everything. It is the default option. Let's talk about the price and stem or bunch count together. How you enter your price depends on whether you order your flowers by the stem or by the bunch. If you know how many stems are in a bunch, leave stem, it's the default option, and enter the price per stem here. To get the price per stem of your flower, take the bunch price and divide it by the number of stems and enter that amount here. If you don't know how many stems are in a bunch, then you'll want to choose bunch from the drop-down box and enter the price for the entire bunch of that flower. For example, a Tibet rose has 25 stems in a bunch. The entire bunch costs $42.25. I'll divide that by 25 stems and my price per stem is $1.69. I'll enter $1.69 in the price box. Alternatively, I don't know exactly how many stems I'll receive in a bunch of autumn eucalyptus. So I'll enter the full bunch price of $10.90 and then I'll choose bunch in the drop down box below. Stems per pack. If I choose to create an item by the stem, I'll enter one final piece of information which is how many stems come in a bunch or a pack. Most roses come in packs of 25. Many other flower types come in bunches of 10, and some come in bunches of five. So check with your wholesaler if you are not sure how many stems come in a bunch. You'll need this to price your arrangements accurately and to order from the wholesaler in full bunch quantities. Once you've entered the item's information, you'll save your item. If you are creating this item in the library, you will click on the Save to Library button. 
If you are creating this item in an event, you'll see a few save options. These options allow you to save the item and add it to your event pages at the same time. This is an improved feature we added based on feedback from our members to save time. You'll see the two main options. The first option is Save to Library and Add to Current Page. Click this button to save the item in your library for future use and add it to the page you are currently working on in your event. The second option is Save to Library and Add to All Pages. Click this button to save the item in your library for future use and add the item to all of the pages in your event. The More Options button on the far right side has four other save options. Save to this event only, not in your library, and add to the current page. Save to this event only, not in your library, and add to all the pages of your event. Save to the library only, meaning you're not going to add it to any of the pages of your event right now. And lastly, save to this event only, not in your library. That last option will not add it to any of the pages in your event, but it will save it to the event only. Should you have an item that you only want to use for this particular event, and you do not want to save it for future use in your library, you can choose one of these Save to Event options, and the item will only exist in this particular event. It will not be added to your library. Now let's quickly add a hard good item from the library so you can see how quick it really is. I'm going to add a 10 inch gold compote to my library. I'll start with the letters HG because I want all of my hard goods to be listed under those letters. When I search for them, I'm not exactly sure which item I want, I'll be able to find all my hard goods because they're all starting with the letters HG. I'll enter the price, choose my secondary markup because this is a hard good item and I want to mark it up only two times, and I'll choose one stem per pack. This allows the system to count how many I need, but if you have hard goods that you're ordering that are coming in certain case packs, you can always enter that number. If you have any questions or need support, please email me and we can review this together.